I am starting off this vlog slash YouTube in the car. It's where I feel most comfortable filming my videos for Instagram and TikTok and stuff. So I thought it's my first YouTube video. Let's just start it in the car. I am actually heading off this evening. I'm going to Glasgow. My mum is going for her mother of the bride outfit. I'm going with her. Um, herself and my dad have actually gone away on the flight this afternoon and I'm flying out this evening um, and meeting them there and they've got an appointment tomorrow and then I'm flying back the day after. Um, but I thought I would just film this little like introduction vlog to my YouTube and stuff. Just see how it goes. Um, I'm filming on my phone. <laughs> I do have a camera but I cannot work it properly for videos so we shall see. My flight leaves in two and a half hours and I'm gonna to head to the airport in about an hour. Um I don't know if I got this so high. <laughs> um can you tell it's my first um vlog. Normally I film like my phone normal way, but um obviously with this screen on YouTube then I have to film my phone sideways. I do have a camera, um but it's really strange to like upload things onto laptops. I'm not too sure it's a Sony or Sony. A600 and you have to like some fancy thing with it. It doesn't actually have a SIM card, I don't think. Or does it? I can't remember. Um, so maybe I can try and get that working, but for now, um, we'll just see. I don't know how people like do this all the time. My arm is so sore already. Um, I don't know if it's because I did an upper body um last night and I lifted quite heavy, but I'm just finishing off some work just now. Um, and then that way I can just chill out tonight. I can actually chill out the rest of the weekend. Like when I get this finished, I can just shut my laptop, that's it, put it away till Monday and I'll be quite happy to do that. Because very often I like will just continue work into the weekend. I just, I really want to stop doing that um, because it, it takes a toll on your mental health. So um, I'm going to finish this off, um, finish packing, going to get some food. Thankfully I have leftovers from yesterday. I do not have to start making dinner from scratch. Otherwise I would miss my flight. So... Um, I made stir fry yesterday, so there's leftovers. Thankfully, I'm going to have that. Um, get changed and then head to the airport. It's really weird because it's 5 p.m. and I'm sitting in my living room and then I'll be falling asleep in Glasgow. That to me is just wild. <laughs> just going downstairs to meet my parents for I think I am taking a premier in but um I mean <laughs> you're always guaranteed like a perfect night's sleep in premier in so yes I am very happy to be off the island for a couple of days I am wearing the Zara trousers I put these on my Instagram story a few months ago talking about the length of them because I do have quite long legs and I really struggle with um normal trousers fitting me so i believe these are meant to be ankle grazers on normal <clears throat> leg length people but these come like halfway up my shin so i really want to try and get some um trousers that are ankle grazers one of my friends said she had someone the other day and she's the same height as me and she said that she got them in pre-mark i never shop in pre-mark i thought you know what i'll go in have a look and just see um if i can find anything um, so I've put my phone into 0.5, I'm hoping that looks a little bit better. I've taken all my makeup off, so just ignore the stage for me. I'm currently in bed with a cup of tea. I said not to have anything to drink, I just was not in the mood. And a cup of tea in bed is more my vibe anyway. Cup of tea, and I actually got myself a Mars bar. Um, I don't usually do anything like that, but I was like, oh, do you know what? I just fancy something different. Um, so I was like, I haven't had a Mars bar since I was probably like 14, so... um. I just really fancied it and my hair is a mess now it was curly earlier on but not anymore but I just got the most exciting message from my bridesmaids so I've just been added into a group chat which is called Becca's Hen Weekend um and they were just putting like some dates in and just some information like that and I'm like oh my goodness it's coming in so fast before bridesmaids I've got my two first cousins who are basically my sisters 
and then my best friend and Josh's sister too so just the best group of girls um, and we're going away for it so I'm just so excited don't know where um, so you start looking at outfits and things I was looking at some on Nadine Marabi for like Black Friday sale but um, we'll just see because that is quite pricey so my order one off there and um, my arm is literally going dead um so yeah it's honestly just so exciting i'm going to crack off in january the end of january and then my hen the start of february so it's going to be a crazy couple of weeks but um i'm just so excited so that has made my friday night again <laughs> um, I'm actually heading to Portugal tomorrow so I thought I would vlog it <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this introduction but anyway um I'm just heading out to get some water because I was actually quite unwell on the flight here um so I have to get a flight from Stornoway to Glasgow and I was pretty unwell on that flight um I don't know what's going on I've got um not the best tummy at the moment and I was just feeling really like nauseous and um really faint and dizzy um but it cleared thankfully it cleared about towards the end of the flight but I was like oh my goodness I'm gonna have to get off this flight I'm gonna have to tell someone I'm not well <laughs> um so but I just like shut my eyes put my water bottle like to my face to cool it down and I felt better after that so um yeah that wasn't really pleasant I've never had that on a flight before so um don't want to do that again. I really do not want it to be on my three-hour flight tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to get some water, get some plain snacks. Um, I don't want anything big tonight to eat, so I'm just going to get some wee snacky bit, um, bland things if I can find any. Um, drink plenty of water, and I'm going to get an early night. It's currently seven o'clock, and I'm hoping to be asleep by like nine, half nine. Um, I don't have to be up early tomorrow, but um, I just want to get a good night's sleep just to clear this. But anyway gonna head get some snacks i am just going to head into glasgow to travel through to edinburgh airport i'm feeling much better <laughs> this morning than i did last night honestly don't know what was going on with me last night but anyway feeling so much better um and yeah i've managed to pack my hand luggage which i'm actually going to show you um because i'm very impressed with myself this is a bag of Amazon. It's actually my <laughs> gym bag, but it's like a travel bag. Um, I mean, it's not my favourite thing in the world. It doesn't look particularly nice, but when you are limited on space, it's honestly like the best thing. And the thing I love about it is that at the back here, it's got this thing. So your suitcase handle just slots through so it can quite happily sit on top of that. It is blooming Baltic and it's so foggy today as you can see it's so cold so I'm very much looking forward to a couple of more in my bones
Carrots. Oops. Because we have a very exciting um, afternoon planned, so we picked up five bags. So <laughs> that's like a little hint as to what we're up to. Hello, everybody. It is my birthday. I am here in Portugal. I'm in Alvor in the Algarve, my favourite place in the whole world. I've been coming here since I was three years old, and um, yeah, I just love it here. So. Um, I am 25 today, so I thought I'd do a little vlog of my day because it is so, so exciting. I can't even explain it. Some of you are going to be like, what on earth, Rebecca? But um, yeah, I'm just so excited. So basically, I love donkeys. <laughs> I don't know why, I've always loved donkeys. Uh, my parents have surprised me with a donkey walk. <laughs> so basically, there's these, well, there's like a donkey sanctuary up in the um, hills here and you go and you just walk with the donkeys give them carrots and just spend time with donkeys and it's just like a dream come true <laughs> and it's very festive because i'm a december baby and it's very christmasy so i'm thinking of like the nativity <laughs> and just walking with donkeys i'm just so so excited so just been to the supermarket we got some carrots we got five bags of carrots so a lot of carrots for all the donkeys and we also had some coffee there because honestly the portuguese supermarket coffee is like the best coffee you can have so we stopped we had coffee on a pastel nata and then we got some stuff for breakfast because my birthday of course i was going to have a pastel nata for a pre-breakfast appetizer and i'm going to have um i don't know what i'm having actually i think it's ham and cheese um for breakfast i also got a dragon fruit because it's my birthday i'm trying to be a bit more adventurous and try different things so i'm going to try a dragon fruit too and then head up to the donkeys I smell a dragon. <laughs> with a dragon oh. fruit. Oh. Yeah, keep on the fruit. Where do we see? Horned melon. An African horned cucumber. Ah. African horned cucumber. Can you eat it? Uh, hold on. Can you eat it for one or more? Well, obviously, it's in the supermarket. Yeah. Maybe even fresh or cooked. Yuck. Yuck. Mm.
There's more tons of pep pepper than they do. <laughs> With an undertone of plum. <laughs> Black currant. And then a sharpness, a tanginess on the tongue. Can't quite put my own finger on it. Oh, could be dragon fruit. <laughs> Hey, it's all right. Good.